Hi, my name is Andrea and I'm a digital marketer in the beauty industry. And I've worked with a lot of brands kind of like these. So a topic that I get tons of questions on being in this marketplace is influencer marketing and how brands and companies leverage it for their benefit and advantage in their marketing strategy. So if you're an up and coming marketer and you want to learn how this is a function of your basic marketing strategy, keep on watching so you can learn about all the industry secrets. So why influencer marketing? Well, there's actually a lot more benefits to working with influencers and content creators than a lot of people might think. Sure, not only are you getting mentioned by someone who has a larger reach and leveraging their customers or their audience members to become prospects of your own company and brand, but we have to look at something else that these content creators are really good at, and it's creating content, which is one of the most valuable things that brands actually look for in these partnerships. The creation of content is not an easy task, and an expensive one at that. These content creators or influencers are creating this type of content at a fraction of the price that it would take a regular company or brand to recreate in-house or externally through outsourced production studios. You might have also heard about different tiers of influencers when it comes to influencer strategy. Macro, mid-tier, and micro. But I'm actually going to go ahead and dial in a friend of mine to help shed a little bit more light of the relationship between these different tiers of influencers and what they can leverage to brands that want to outsource their kind of content. Hey Maritza, how are you? Drea, I'm doing awesome. I'm so glad that you called. So this is Maritza, aka my old boss and brand marketing manager at BoxyCharm. And she works with influencers all the time. Hey, yeah, I actually wanted to know if you could share with us some influencer marketing strategies that you currently use at BoxyCharm. I would love to talk to you about influencer marketing and a little bit on how we do things at BoxyCharm. So let's take a look at the difference between macro, mid-tier, and micro influencers. I say visualize it as a pyramid with your macro influencers at the top, your mid-tier influencers in the middle, and your micro influencers making the base of your pyramid. And it all depends on what your overall campaign goals are. Micro influencers are going to drive the most engagement because they're the most active on their channels. They have smaller followings, but they're the most active. So if you need a CTA or are looking to drive some sort of conversion, definitely employ a micro influencer. Now, if you're looking for your content or your message to get the most awareness, you start going up in the pyramid and diving into mid tier and macro influencers. These people have a larger following, thus the bigger the reach. There you have it. If I sparked your interest in any way and you need to know the rest of the tea on influencer marketing and how to develop a full-scale influencer marketing strategy, visit our website at mavenmkt.net for more.